Hey you guys, it is your girl Cleo Rose and I am back with another lip gloss making video. So, of course you know I'm working with hemp now, so, you know, this is another hemp making lip gloss video. So please stay tuned and let's get into it. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone. Of course, you know, I'm working with hemp now, so, you know, this is another hemp making lip gloss video, so please stay tuned and let's get into it. So, you already know your basic ingredients, which be your grapeseed oil, you, your jojoba oil, you, which, like I said, is always cold pressed, remember that, your vitamin E oil, your... You have to have your hemp seed oil, CBD oil, whichever one you choose to use. Um, your lip gloss base, this one is pretty much running out, so I grabbed another one. Of course, you need your spoons, your pipe at, your cut off pipe at, so that you can put it inside your lip gloss tubes. You need your tubes, so don't forget them. Um, you need your syringe, and like I said, I use a 60 milliliter. And also, you need your mica powder. We're going to do green today and your flavoring so we're going to stick with watermelon and i use hobbyland y'all these are so bomb I'm not going to lie to you guys oh also you need your bowl and don't forget your gloves do not forget to sanitize before you make this product because don't nobody want their lips breaking out um another disclaimer if you see my arm is really 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 shiny um it's because i just got my tattoo shaded in so <laughs> that's where the it i actually have um i have ointment on it right now just so that it can properly heal which i think that's probably gonna be like the next video that i touch on is the tattoo ointment that i am you know gonna get into which of course it's gonna have hemp oil in it so you guys stay tuned for that okay okay so the first thing we're going to do is take our lip gloss base I get mine from TKB so like I said it's not really much in here so we're pretty much going to finish this one out really fast and hopefully I don't make too much lip gloss because like I said I only got three tubes with me out the last time if y'all seen the G13 which is the purple which I did not have the name at the time but if y'all seen the purple lip gloss making then y'all see I made just about enough I don't think this one's finished we're gonna move on to the next one Yeah, this one's pretty much done. So let's move on to a new one. And like I said, I usually get the 5.5 pouches because they're easier to handle. They're not as heavy. And they're cheaper, pretty much. Okay, I think that should be enough. And like I said, I like my lip gloss pretty thick, so that's around how much I use and like I said if I put too much oil or something in it I always go back and thicken it back up so the next thing we're going to put is our grapeseed oil I pretty much eyeball it honestly put all that much in and then let's get to mixing mix this up Remember, you need to work in all your oils. I like, ooh. I like doing it this way. Oh, my arm is hurting. <laughs> I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. All right, how about I just do it this way? Yeah, make sure you stir it all in to get all the lip gloss worked in. And like I said, I like my lip gloss still pretty thick. So this is still clumpy. 
as I um, put more oils in, then of course it's going to like work its way out. Okay, so let's go in with the jojoba oil. I really don't put that much oils into it. I just put like enough. And like I said, because these, um, I say it in all my videos, just these oils have a yellow tint to it, but because we're using color, it really doesn't, um, it really doesn't matter. Okay. And now the consistency is like getting to where I need it to be. I feel like you guys cannot see, but like that. We're gonna go in with a couple drops of vitamin E. You cannot forget this. This is really good for your skin, lips, everything, hair, all of that. So just a couple drops. I'll put about one dropper full. And we're gonna mix this in. I feel like I kind of loosened this up a little bit too much, so I'm just only going to add like a little bit. Just about that much, just to thicken it back up. And because this is new lip gloss, you gotta work this in. Oh shoot, I can't even see like how thick it is. It's exactly how I like it. Well, I'm gonna work some more. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna go with the organic hemp seed oil. I want to take a dropper for this because I don't want to pour too much. So we're going to do about one and a half milliliters of hemp seed oil. is pretty thick so I don't think it's, it's not going to loosen up my lip gloss at all and also hemp seed is full of vitamin D so that's also good for moisturizing your skin and stuff of that nature it's really full the main one is vitamin D but it's also full of other um, vitamins too but it's really good for your skin and you see how thick this is though like it's a great consistency but it's still thick which leaves a really really long lasting shine on your lips it doesn't go away extra fast okay so the next thing we're going to do is add the flavoring so i'm going to do about 
four to five drops just to see how this goes. If I need to add more than I will. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I did six. Sorry. Oh my god, you guys. It smells like a watermelon. Um like a watermelon. What's that thing? Airhead. That's what it is. It smells like a watermelon airhead. Let me smell it. You don't want to put too much um, flavoring in it because it literally can like kill the gloss. So we're going to stop with that and we're going to add in our mica powder. Remember a little bit goes a long, long way. So let's get this first. Remember I only take the tip of my, the tip of my spoon. If I need more color, then you know, I'll get more, but I use about this much for now. And then if we need more, we add more. And remember with powders, with, with any coloring, you start slow because you don't want it to splash everywhere. you guys I might add a little bit more color to this just the dark just to get the full effect of the green let's add like a little bit more Not a lot though. Right that much. I hate when I be watching people YouTube videos and they like overload their lip glosses with color. I be like, calm down. It's not that serious. Alright, so ah, I got it on my finger. It's a great thing about wearing gloves. Just scrape it right off. like this mix all the way in another thing how you can check you know check the glossiness is if you get a syringe which I'm about to grab one you check the you get the syringe and you take like the tip of it and then test it on your skin just to see like what it's gonna look like oh yeah it's come through sis Oh yes. This is gonna be like extra cute. <sighs> okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill up the syringe. And I'm gonna put it, pour it in the top, but I'm gonna put the stock on because it stops it from like coming all the way out. And I'm just gonna like scoop it in. Like green slime.
what it looks like. top on just yet i'm gonna open up these lip gloss tubes please make sure that you sanitize all your lip gloss tubes before you use them that is the number one thing that i do um prior to me getting them is i take them straight out the packaging and i sanitize 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 i cannot stress that enough you must sanitize your um thing your lip gloss tubes especially if you're going to be selling if you're making this just for fun then i mean hey have at it but if you're actually going to be making a lip gloss business and selling it then i highly recommend i highly recommend you sanitize everything because you don't know where the stuff is coming from all right so next thing i'm going to push um the top onto my lip gloss of course some is going to come out which that is fine i'm just trying to make sure I can get this in as far as I can before I start filling. Make sure you can use a spoon to wipe off, but you're gonna put it inside and we're gonna begin to fill. Now I don't fill these all the way up. I, pr I try to find like a stopping point because they won't close if you do fill it all the way up. I know I made more than what I needed to, so they're probably just gonna go into little squeeze tubes. Ooh. And if you have air, that's exactly what it's gonna do. So I try to get as much air out while like going up and down. I usually stop about right there. Probably put a little, a little bit more in. I stop about right there. I don't try to go far. Let me get the pay, and we're just gonna put the stoppers in. Please remember to wash your lip glosses before you actually sell them because there is probably lip gloss all over. You see that shiny stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna wash them. But I like these black tubes better than I like these. So, I'm just gonna probably, like, if you order this off the website, then you're not tempted to say you're gonna get a black tube and not the orange one. I think I'm gonna keep the orange ones for like myself and my mom. But I really do like these. This orange is not so full. So this was the end product and then I made like a little squeeze tube that was left over. Like I said, I'd probably just get this full way like for free instead of an order. So if you order and you see this in your pack, if you order and you see this in your order or you see like another one in your order like this, then just know you're welcome. It's a free gift. <laughs> but I really do like the black with this. So yeah but this is 
my lip gloss infused with CBD oil. Thank you guys for watching. Yet again, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more lip gloss, to, lip gloss making in other videos. I will see you guys literally in the next video. I love you. Have a great one.